This past year, we built a diverse team who made this victory possible, even in the face of deception, misinformation, and never-ending lies. Uh, just really deceptive and, and misleading ads. Both sides claiming deception in the campaign, but one thing that's difficult to hide is the money. I poured over many reports today generated on the Ohio Secretary of State website, and here's what I found. The abortion rights side raised $58.3 million, about 60 percent from political action committees like the ACLU, the Open Society Policy Center, and the 1630 Fund. The anti-abortion side raised $36.6 million. Most of that money, about 93 percent, came from PACs like the Concord Fund and Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America. Just $2 million came from individuals. And a tremendous amount of the campaign funds came from out of state. On the abortion rights side, nearly $50 million came from non-Ohioans. Tens of millions of dollars being poured in from out of state. To be fair, a lot of money came in from out of state for the pro-life movement as well. Absolutely. We had we had support from, from organizations out of state, groups like Susan B. Anthony, Pro-Life America. But it pales in comparison uh, to the money you saw come in from, uh, from the Yes campaign. Anti-abortion advocates from outside of Ohio sent 33.3 of the $36.6 million raised for the cause. That's about 90 percent of all funds raised. So the final tally, abortion rights outspent anti-abortion $58.3 million to $36.6 million. So where did a bulk of that money go? You guessed it, advertising, television, billboards, online brochures and door hangers. But it is interesting when you start looking at where the rest of the money is spent, millions going to consultants, legal fees, travel meals and meetings, and salaries. Megan? David, thank you. It should take another few weeks before the Secretary of State has all the numbers and final amounts totaled. But in the end, this will likely be the most expensive issue ever on an Ohio ballot. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.